And the final question comes from Super Baby. Can you review my channel sometime? I know you have very mixed feelings on it. Uh, yeah, maybe sometime, I don't know. Well, seeing as though I have absolutely nothing else to do, uh, for videos at least, let's review Super Baby's channel. Well, Super Baby 731's channel started off making these really stupid Minecraft tutorials, which for some reason got thousands of views. I can very safely say that these are some of the worst tutorials I've ever seen on the internet. There's no audio quality whatsoever. That's basically like half of why you go and watch a video. For the charisma of, and personality of the people on YouTube. He then bought a microphone and started making very bad gameplay videos. Hello everyone and after... What is it? Oh yeah. After a year or longer or something like that, we are finally back and doing a Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. I think that just by you listening to that small sample, you can really tell how bad Super Baby's videos really were back then. He offered absolutely no charisma in his gameplay videos, and talked in such a monotone voice that you're bored to death half the time. He then decided to just stop talking altogether, and made videos of just unedited highlights on Mario Kart 8. He, there's only two of the videos here, and both of them are like 30 seconds long. They're just, they're, they're not worth checking out, they're very... They're, they're kind of like uh, trying to fill the hole of uh, comedy and entertainment and all that, but it just, it it doesn't work, is what I'm trying to say. After that, Super Baby just decided, hey, this channel sucks, so I'm just going to make videos that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And thus, we got videos like Untitled and Is It All Over. I guess Is It All Over was trying to send the message like, Super Baby's channel is completely over. But Super Baby's channel is not completely over. So, the message was, it was trying to convince you that Super Baby's channel was over, even though it wasn't. After a very poor update video, which was basically a lie, he then made a review. Of all things, a review. A bad review at that. It also goes to show that Super Baby lies. Like, a lot. Like, a whole freaking lot. He said in the video, if you want more, then just tell me in the comments below. And I asked him for more. And that video is almost a year old, and he's never given any more reviewing videos. At least not on MLP. So, it just goes to show that Super Baby is just lying about how comments really matter. He doesn't really care about the comments in all actuality. After a few more videos that are just downright stupid, he started making Let's Play videos again. And they were of Undertale. I personally don't care for them, but he's got a lot more charisma in these videos, and it does show that he's improving on Let's Plays. So, for that factor alone, they are much more high quality. However, they're 30 minutes long. That's a long time to be watching a Let's Play video. It's just... I really don't know if you should really just go and watch some guy play Undertale for half an hour. I don't know if it's really worth it. And then, of course, he made the infamous Jealous Coster Y video, where he starts uh, calling me out for liking a video about eating slime. Alright, I already, like, you know, told him why I liked it in the comments, but I'm going to tell you guys here. My sister was on my account, and I guess she likes some really weird videos, considering this is the stuff that she clicked like on. So, that's why. It wasn't really me, it was my sister. And, uh, well, that's, that's basically it. That's, that's the whole conversation. Also, half of the video doesn't really involve me at all, it's just... An update video, really. Also, he stated that I like my own videos because of the tweets that were out there. And in the video, you can clearly see that it says, I uploaded this video, not I liked this video. So yeah, there's another myth debunked. Then he made a talk video. Not a rant video, a talk video. Talking about things like shoes, Saturday Night Live, 
and other things. And it was actually edited by yours truly. One thing that I have to complain about that video, however, he did the whole thing in one take. Which, I mean, it's very normal for Super Baby to do things in one take. But, if you want, like, a high-quality video, don't just go through it. Like, in this video alone, I've probably made, like, 30 different audio files right now. Then he uploaded the 1AM album. Which is a really, really good quote-unquote album. I was there when he decided to make the album. I actually kind of pushed him to make the album because he basically thought that every single track was terrible. And I, and he still thinks that every single track he made was terrible. Aside from Ice-T, which is my favorite track on the album as well. But... Uh, the reason why it's actually called 1AM is because the first track he made was at 1AM. So, a little bit of lore. I really do like the album, though. It's got some really uh, nice tracks, and Ice-T in particular is a very, very good, uh, a very good track on the album. It's completely different from everything else on the album, and I really like it. So... If I were to rank this album, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, because it's just a very nice album, uh, and it doesn't take away a lot of your time. And uh, it's, it's just a good album, so there it is. And the most recent video that he made was a reading of the B-movie script, which I do have to commend him for uh, putting in an hour just to read this B-movie script, and... Uh, Anyone who really does read the B-movie script, they're, they're really putting in a lot of time for it. Even though they're just, like, reading words. Reading words for one hour just for a video, that's, that's pretty, you know, you gotta be really dedicated to do something like that. So, all in all, his channel is stepping in the right direction, definitely. But if I were to compile all of his videos and would have to rank them all up, I'd have to give him a 4 out of 10 for his channel uh, as a whole. For his newer videos, I'd probably give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10, which is definitely improving, but not improvement enough to really make us forget about those older videos that he's made that are pretty bad. So that's the Super Baby channel review. There you go. Goodbye. Now. I'm gonna go now. So don't stick around. You can go whenever you feel free to. Are you, are you gone? Okay, you're not gone. Uh... Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it myself.